If you're sitting on the fence at the moment, you're not sure if you want to upgrade to an iPhone 13, well, hang around, I'm gonna show you some examples of why you should or why you shouldn't. In a nutshell, if you are someone who has an iPhone that is before a 12, absolutely, it's definitely worth the upgrade. The features on this are, well, it's a huge jump. But if you're someone who has an iPhone 12, then there's a definite maybe. What we're gonna look at here is, well, me as a photographer who's gone from a 12 Pro Max to a 13 Pro Max, uh, I'm gonna show you what I think is some good upgrades and some good features that it's done with, and uh, some things that really could have uh, upgraded a bit better. But I'm really keen to see what the differences are between the 12 Pro Max Night Mode and the 13 Pro Max Night Mode, both handheld and on a tripod, and we'll use the ultra wide as well because that's had an upgrade and we'll even shoot some video and we'll see how we go. My general feelings about upgrading this phone is that I wasn't going to do it, um, but well, I need to make content for this channel so I went and got one and to be honest, I was pleasantly surprised. There are things that are doing, the, there's things that I'm doing on this that I just didn't think that the iPhone would ever be able to do and it's doing it really well. Plus, you've also got that macro mode which is, well, I think it's pretty cool. It's not great. But it's kind of cool. I have found using this phone on a day-to-day -day basis to be, well, exactly the same. This phone and this phone, they're roughly the same. They're physically, they're basically the same size. This, the iPhone 13 is a little bit wider. And I'll tell you that the 13, it's, it feels heavier. It's not that much heavier, but I think because it's a little bit wider and the camera bump's a little bit bigger and it's, it's a little tiny bit heavier, it just feels heavier. The 13 is running iOS 15 get your head around that and with that comes all the cool functionality that is with the uh, iOS 15 you can put that on the 12 as well but you can see now things like when you go into the gallery you can see the metadata of that photo that you've taken so you can see with the 13 that it's not only doing night mode it's doing night mode better than what it did with the 12 so it's doing instead of on the well on the 12 it did 10 photos of three seconds each, or maybe even more than 10 seconds of less duration each, and stacks them all together. 13 Pro, what it's doing is three times 10 seconds each, and that is why it's better. And I've done a video on that. It also has that text lookup functionality that exists now on the iPhone with the iOS 15, where you can point the camera at something and it's got writing there, you can highlight that and copy that and put it into something else on the phone. So you might see a web address on a billboard instead of typing it out you can just point the camera at it highlight it put it into your browser and uh, off you go it's pretty cool so i've done videos on macro and i've done videos on the cinematic mode that this phone has so we're not going to talk about that really in this video at all let's go and have a look at some of these photos that i've taken now with the wider aperture on the iphone 13 pro max or on the iphone 13 pro you're going to find well i expected to find that it's going to be better in low light situations. And Apple says that it's two time, 2.2 times better. And I've got to tell you, it is. They've kind of delivered on that. Let's have a look at these two photos. Here are handheld photos first. The one on the left is the iPhone 13 Pro Max and on the right is the 12 Pro Max. Really, there's not much in it when it comes to handheld. They're both pretty bloody close. What I did then is I put them on a tripod, went for 30 seconds, and here we start seeing the 2.2 times better. Have a look at the detail on those tractors, there's definitely more detail on the 13. Here, again, we see 2.2 times more stars that are in the sky. On the left on, on the left hand side is the 13, on the right is the 12. Here is the ultra wide lens. Now, they've definitely made some improvements here, but uh, really, I think Apple's still toeing the ball a bit there when it comes to the ultra wide lens with low level photography. It, it did okay, it did better than what it did before, but it could certainly do a damn sight better. Let's have a look now in town where there was a bit more light pollution, there's like street lights and stuff and how this affected everything. The one on the left here is the 13, the one on the right is the 12. The one on the right, it's got a lot more haze around it. That's something that I really noticed with the iPhone 12. It's a lot more haze on those lenses. They're all clean. Um, here is some shops, a bit more detail, a bit more light and zoom that in a little bit with the 13 and zoom it in with the 12 and they basically look the same. And with the three times zoom on the left, it looks a bit better than what it does on the right with the 12. If we zoom in now at 700%, uh, this is the 12 and you can see that sign there. If I get the same sign at 700%, uh, um, you can see it's a little bit clearer there. So it does a bit better of a job. So Apple certainly went to market with this three times zoom. <laughs> 
I don't know why, but they did, and it's a little bit better than what it was before. A little bit. Now, along with those wider apertures, I think it's important to know um, how good it is with low light um, video as well. So I took some video in there, one with the selfie facing camera, and then I turned that around and see, see what I could do as far as if I got it on my face right and did it with the uh, back facing cameras with the wide angle lens. So this is those. No cars coming. Selfie mode on both cameras, both phones. Recording video, this is the iPhone 12 Pro Max audio. This is the iPhone 13 Pro Max video. What do you think? This is both cameras on the regular wide camera with video. What do you think? Does the iPhone 13 really make a difference with that wider aperture? Hmm. So you can see really um, with all of these photos, with all these videos in low light situations, the iPhone 13 does a better job than what the 12 did. So if you are someone who's sitting on the fence as to whether I should get this or not, you just need to ask yourself, do I do, any, do, I, uh, do, I do a lot of stuff with uh, low light photography? And if you do, it's probably worth the upgrade. But if you don't, uh, you might want to wait till next year when the iPhone 14 comes out and see what you can get with that. But um, like I say, low light, it's not too bad. For an iPhone, it's probably the best it's been so far. All right, guys, I'll catch you next week. See you later.